He came in third place in Sunday's election, and now supporters of Jean-Luc Mélenchon are being courted by the presidential frontrunners in France, something that's easier said than done. My vote should go to someone I really believe in. In this case, neither Macron nor Marine Le Pen have convinced me. Jean-Luc Mélenchon told his supporters not to vote for Marine Le Pen, but stopped short of endorsing Emmanuel Macron. His supporters say they aren't ready to give the current president a free pass. It would pain me to vote for him, but it would pain me more to vote for Le Pen. So yes, things are complex. Jean-Luc Mélenchon took home 22% of Sunday's vote and scored well with urban college-educated voters. In our masters, we spoke a lot about politics. There was no better choice for the youth, for society, for the environment or finance. We had a program which was solid. Mélenchon came in 1.2 percent behind Marine Le Pen in the first round, and supporters of the 70-year-old say they're disappointed after coming so close. Voting Jean-Luc Mélenchon would have meant changing up the system somewhere. And now we won't change. We find ourselves in the same situation we did five years ago. Do you not see yourself voting for Macron? I'm not sure yet. And Marine Le Pen? Her neither. Will you abstain? Maybe I'll just go fishing or cast a blank vote. With days to go until the second round of the presidential election, a sizable chunk of Mélenchon supporters say they're likely to cast a blank ballot or abstain.